Teacher tip 75. Walk through the class while teaching. While students are busy, the worst thing you can do is only sit at your desk and do some work. Sometimes that's appropriate, but you should stand up and walk around the class and check up on your students because they will know that you are looking at them. You can ask them some questions, you can give them some tips and advice, but the main idea behind it is to show the students that you are in control of their environment. You feel free to walk around and own your territory. Just like a lion in the Serengeti, you're going to walk around your class and check up on the students. If you are only sitting at your desk, you are not doing your job and you're not paying attention to them and some of the students will start taking advantage of that. Make sure that you walk around the class, go up to students, ask them questions. If some students are being naughty, get closer, get into their proximity so that they know that you are there and you are in charge. Teacher tip 76. Set the tone for the day if you go on a field trip. Discreetly let students know that you are still the authority, even though it's a different environment away from school. So let's say you're going on a field trip. If you have the students in your class a week before you're already telling them what you expect them to do and you're laying down the rules. Right before the trip, line them up, tell them that even though you're going to a new place, maybe a museum, maybe, you know, to a park, maybe somewhere else, you tell them, I am the authority. If something happens, you come up to me. This is not your mom's house. And you want to have procedures in place for if things do go wrong. So tell the students exactly what you expect from them. When you get on the bus, remind them again, I am the teacher. This might be away from school, but I still expect you to act like students. If you have any problems, if you act out, I will be there. I will be watching you and there will be consequences. So be sure to remind your students of that and they have to know exactly what is expected of them. Teacher tip 77. Master difficult parents early on. Build partnerships with them to work together. Teaching is a social career. You have to work with your students, you have to work with colleagues, and you also have to work with the community and parents. So sometimes there are some parents that are very involved. Sometimes there are parents that are going to be difficult. You know when some parents are going to be difficult. So start forming a good relationship with them early. It should be professional. You should work together with them to help their children. It's important for you to have open communication with them. Talk to them on parents' evenings, invite them over, talk to them on the phone, and tell them that they can reach you by email or by phone or however you wish to be contacted. Very important, build a good relationship with parents, especially the difficult ones. 